I want to do is to give us, give the people, especially the ones that were following and your fans, a bit of a behind the scenes and insights on how this whole concept of Crossroad came about. And uh, Bern, you could probably speak the best about it just to get Yeah, a I think it was right after the regular season ended, uh, Carlos, Charlie, and I were together in Queens, and we started talking about his free agency and what he's going to do next. And um, I said, why don't we document it? And I think your exact words were, I'm with it. Um, and then I said, you know, maybe a couple of days later, you and I were texting, and I said, what about Crossroads? Crossroads fit perfect. You know, I did not know what was going to happen, where I, where I was going to end up, when was it going to happen. Um, the last time I was a free agent in 2009, I signed the first day and got a long-term contract. And now, you know, my career went a different direction. So now it was like, where, where, where am I going? When? What? How? What team? Didn't know. So capturing every moment was something that was pretty cool because it was mixed with different types of emotions. Um, just letting the currents. And I don't think that's, that's, that's probably something that I don't think a lot of any, I haven't <clears> seen any other pro athlete, regardless of the sport, and I could be wrong on this, but I haven't seen any other athlete open up the currents during such a critical stage in their career. Uh, something like that when it comes to contract negotiations, where you're going to be at, of course, again, that's such a sensitive situation because anything could play a factor in, in the deal. Do you think it was a good product? Absolutely. Yeah? Um, Why? Um, I think it was a good product because you get to see the what I went through on a day-to-day -day basis. And at times, you know, you actually see, you can see, you can actually see the hard work that I put in. You can actually see what I'm going through, like as far as not knowing and how disappointed, how frustrating it could be um, just in a day-to-day -day life of what I had to go through in order to be a free agent but, uh, uh, during that period. But um, it was an absolutely great product. I'm glad we was able to, to film it because it's something I'm always going to carry and, uh, for the rest of my life. I can always see what I went through, you know, a time that I've never experienced this. Like, this is not something I've been through. There's no blueprint. Um, when I was going to sign or when it was going to happen, you know? It was just, we was figuring yeah, it out. And the good thing was that the fans were getting there literally like two days. I mean, Sunday yeah. was the deadline and yeah. Tuesday was yeah, up. Yeah, we were trying to keep it in. And we, we were trying to keep people yeah. on point. This, this with is it. what the production was. We had our Samsung Note 3 phones and the Galaxy phones. And it was either myself or Rob with the cameras. Literally, you know, I tried to because we fell out of time man. If it, was, if it wasn't one of us two, which were the main camera guys, it, Ashley and, and I had Michelle. Michelle Game, his fiance, spends a lot of time with her. She helped us out a lot. And our uh, cousin Brian. Cousin Brian, when, when the time that we were in New York, we were in <laughs> Cousin Brian. Brian, 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 Brian. Brian. <laughs> they give Brian a shot and much credit to him because when we were in Michigan and Charlie was working out in New York, Brian was the one with the camera. We had nobody else. And this was a project that had no budget. I want to ask you, what's your favorite web episode of mine? Favorite web episode of mine? Um, I think the first episode. Yeah, yeah. So that was like the first moment where it was like Asian to play on talk. And I haven't seen that before, so that game kind of like goosebumps. So I was like, oh, what's going to happen next? Uh, I got two. Episode six, of course. And then of course, you know, CJ, you know, kind of saying, I believe in you, daddy. You know, that that yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then yeah. of course the photo shoot, because I remember, not to be selfish, I was shooting and just able to see the kids and, you know, his fiance and all men go outside the house. Exactly. And you're seeing a different side of him that he's not able to show on the court. Where we're here as a family, you know, to portray and show the cameras all these diseases. What's your favorite yeah. one? Seven, why? Now, I will have to say what, what, what most of you guys said, six for sure. Because you get to see my family side. Um, first and foremost, you know, I'm the father first. You know, so uh, just spending time with, with the kids, you know, all my family. Well, the, my favorite is uh, four. But I'm going to tell you, well, episode two, I had a great moment where... At the end, you're in the car, and you're like, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. It's basically what you're saying. I thought that was a dope scene. 
I thought, I love episode 8. Uh, I love when you get a little agitated in episode 8 when you're talking to Nate Blue and you're like, what guy do you know can't that doesn't take care of his body and plays in the NBA for 10 years? I love that scene. Uh, but episode 4, I really love. It, it concludes with uh, CB like on the interview and they hang up on him by accident, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. He's like, hello, the, when you're doing the interview, you're in your robe. But it was like The Waiting Game. The name of that webisode mm. was The Waiting Game. And he talks about how, you know, when you go on a job interview and you go in for the interview, you're just waiting. You're waiting for them to call you back. The Waiting Game. I, I thought that was a great webisode. But the whole thing was a whole, like, a waiting game. The whole thing was a waiting yeah, game. Yeah, don't The crazy yeah. thing, too, was the last one where I'm like, 30th birthday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the last episode. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you brought that up. I to go to LA. Yeah. At the time, we could have said who we were going to say. Yeah, yeah, we were going to say. We were to say. To go to LA on my birthday, I'm cutting the cake, I'm with my family, I have a little birthday party at my mom's house. And then I have to leave on my 30th birthday to go to LA and try to get a job. Yeah. And that's me. But that's part of being a grown up, right? Like, that's it doesn't matter great. that you're very. So, welcome to the 30s. Yeah, welcome, welcome to, to the 30s. We still welcome got the, the pod on that yacht, right? <laughs> <laughs>